What is happening, YouTube? Burkitty, Joey here. Got mail day, all sorts of weird stuff going on in this mail day. Um, even non PC stuff. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, there's a person that's kind of blown up in the last couple months, and his name is Nathan Burns from Grand Slam Collectibles. Um, he uh, he has his own card shop, and I think it's Tennessee. Tennessee and me and Luke Counts have known him before he had the card shop when he was doing the Spectral Hall of Fame set with us um, but he decided to quit what he was doing and open up a card shop and slow going at first now he is getting all sorts of views he's very enthusiastic you think I'm enthusiastic you ain't seen nothing um, but I decided to support him. You know, he made his own repack product, and I decided to get a box of it. Just because I told him I always would support him no matter what he does. Um, but I got this bat piece of Roberto Clemente. Uh, this one's on eBay at the moment. But uh, if you need it, we can work something out, message me. Whatever, holler at me. No biggie. Then fitting this guy. I didn't want him to become a Packer, know that. Um, from Encased, out of 25, Richard Sherman patch. It looks like a Pro Bowl patch, maybe. Maybe not. Whatever. Didn't want Dick Sherman on my team. Because his first name says it all. Don't like the guy. Just don't. Hate him. <laughs> I mean, hate's a strong word. I dislike him very much. I think he's a jerk. That's it. Um, but the bigger hit in my pack uh, was an number 89 out of 99 from playoff Deshaun Watson so I'm happy with that I'm happy it was a football pack for the most part for the two cards uh, I don't know much about baseball or basketball or whatever it is but Deshaun Watson from playoff I might hang on to that one for a little bit I think the kid is the real deal I really do and he's going to have fantastic things to throw to so I'm going to hang on and make that that's I don't invest much at all, at all, uh, but that one I might just came on for another year, see what happens. And it's not a really big product anyway, you know, it's not, playoff is not a huge product, but just in case. Uh, so, but speaking of that, I, I showed this card before, but this is why I picked up this card and I was exactly right it was going to happen this year. Um, the Derrick Henry, that I, I showed this before. This is my like my only investment card. Stuff is going to blow up. If you want to put any money into anybody right now, this is the kid to put it on. I I have a feeling it's going to be... But this is a tie-dye auto that I'm going to move probably for double of what I paid for it. I could even probably even do that now. Um, so that was just kind of non-PC stuff, and I sh just wanted to throw that out there. Um... I just want to show some stuff I'd never shown before that I got in a break a while back. C.J. Beathard for the 49ers. Um, out of 10 from Spectra. Damn one colored though on it, but still, nice. Throw it up. And then I, I forgot I had this out of one of my 09 Icons break uh, that I didn't show. Uh, but this is probably the best card out of it. I had a redemption for Kurt Russell patch in there too. Not the auto. So it's, it's obviously it's expired. So I'm bringing it to Nats to see if I can get anything for it. But um, this is probably the best card that came out of there. These sell for about $35. Bucks. Um, Jim Thorpe, Letterman. So pretty cool. Um, then I have... Oh, let's do these. Um, I found these on eBay from the same shipper. And I had to have them. They're going to get mags soon because I, I kind of have like a tiny start... Of a side PC of just Reggie White jersey stuff. And I found these from the same seller. 127 and 150. And 43 out of 50. Um, from Certified. This is the mirror red obviously. And the mirror blue. So I have like a little side PC of Reggie White. These are very shiny. Look at how cool that looks. And they're just right. Um, a little side PC of Reggie White jerseys. I got like five of them. Just jersey cards. Not a huge thing, just like a, I wanted to pick them up. Um, 
Plus, they're certified, and then, like I said, they're shimmer, shine. Very, very nice. Like them. Um, plus, it was combined shipping. That's why I had to do it. Um, so this mail day will be fairly short, even though I'm talking real fast. Um, next one was a Luke Count purchase. I knew he had this card last year, and I was like, ah, him and Han, but I asked him for it because I... You know, I can't be really too picky on what I find. If I find it, I have to kind of get it of Bart Star if I need it. And I didn't have this one, and he had it, and he gave me a heck of a deal. Um, number 12 out of 50. And for some reason, uh, this is a Bart Star National Treasures white leather auto. For some reason, I was going through in um, my Bart Star stuff. Here's the, I don't know if you can see. That's 12 out of 50. I have a lot of ones that are numbered 12 of something. Just, I, I must, I remember just when I went through the number, I must have seen three or four of them already, and this is another one. Whatever it is. I got the Aaron Rodgers number, numbering down, but I can't find a 15 to save my life. <laughs> this is cool, though. Thank you, Luke. Um, nice addition. And as always, we're both very into the same things as from Brett Boston. Broncos fan. These are, you can barely tell, the perfect fit uh, sleeves. Love the perfect fit sleeves. I don't do anything else but use them now. So, very happy. He shipped in a mag. I mean, I love mags, so. Very thankful loop. But the last thing that just came in, uh, there was a three, uh, um, a lot of three Bart Star cards. I already have one package up and ready to go because I have sold it. Because I already had it. I I sold it for the last eBay comp, so I really, you know, whatever it was. Um, I was going to razz it, but I don't have to now. I sold it outright. And it's going Hawaii. Ho so, there it goes. And it didn't take long to sell. I mean, I don't... I, I go by eBay comps. I don't do... I don't try to make a million dollars on my stuff. I just wanted a fair price for it. So, it's gone. I can't even show it to you, but... Um, the two cards that I didn't have and wanted, both of them, because I wanted the whole lot, I do, and I got a vintage. Very happy with this. Um, and I don't know much about vintage stuff, but this is a 66 Philadelphia, and that's pretty crisp and clean. That is a PSA 7. And I had to do research on all the pricing and all this stuff because it was in a lot. These run about 60 bucks. So, I mean, a seven and a half would probably run about 85. So this is about 60 bucks for a PSA 7, 66 Philadelphia. Awesome. That the card I majorly wanted the most um, was, and I gotta take it out of the mag because it's so beautiful. And the mag is just scratched up and I have to put it in a different one. Uh, this beautiful card, numbered 5 out of 10 from 2012 certified gold. Bart Star Auto. Look at that thing just shine. Good God. Mirror finish. Um, it Very similar. I have the green out of 5 that Michael Phillips found at Nats that I paid for. Um, so when the gold, this is the first gold I've seen. So I needed to pair them up. I have the green and the gold. How perfect is that? Now I'm looking for the 101, which would be the black. I still haven't had a Bart Star 101. This thing is just awesome looking in the light. <laughs> I gotta say, it's awesome. So, 5 out of 10, Bart Star. Um, to have the green and the Packer colors. Awesome. Just like, like I said, it cut off, the number is cut off. I'm gonna put this in a different mag in a little bit, but the number is cut off just like the one, the green one I have is. Um, that one, boy, I think it could make grading. I don't know, but I think I might. Even if it could, I don't think I, I would grade it because the green is not gonna be able to grade, and I want them kind of be together. Does that sound weird? I know it sounds it, it sounds right in my head, but it it might sound weird to the other correct collectors. Um, I don't like separating something that are supposed to be next to each other. <laughs> That's how I can explain it. 
But what a great mail day. I mean, awesome. You got Reggie White and you got Bart Starr and you got non-PC even. Holy cripes. It's like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Which I don't. <laughs> I know like two things. That's all I know. But those two things I excel at. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. I love you guys. Take care. See you soon.